as parliament oversights the use of that money. Kekikaria? Kekikia. Professor Kendiki, in the recent past in this demonstration, two young men, Michael Kirunga Yavolia, and another young man called Kevin Maganga, a short day in the court. The family has been trying to get some information from my court. Uh, it is alleged that the independent, uh, the I4 is not receiving required information from the police service. This has posed a great challenge to I4 and the previous oversight on it. If approved for this appointment, what are the conditions? What steps will you take to ensure that challenge to I4 executing his oversight mandate? If approved for this appointment, what steps will you take to ensure that the two institutions work seamlessly uh, for the benefit of Kenyans? And secondly, how further, how, uh, further, how will you strengthen IPO so as to execute uh, its mandate? Second, the honorable uh, chair is about urban criminal gang activities. Uh, in in uh, the urban areas, particularly in Nakuru, a, a criminal gang called Confirm, which by what the citizens claim, has brought about five deaths in every month and hundreds of injuries. Maybe if you're approved and confirmed, how, what are the steps that you'll take to reduce the increase of criminal activities in urban areas and particularly in Akuru, specifically the confirmed criminal gang. Thank you, Chair. Professor. Mr. Speaker, on the first issue, the relationship between IPOA and the National Police Service is an ongoing uh, conversation and it is not a, it's not unusual. It is uh, it happens all over the world that the police and the bodies of oversight them have no more institutional tensions. We have during our our tenure in office, we have encouraged these institutions to work together because each one of them is playing an important role. It is the same problem we had between the police service and the police service commission. And we did a lot of work and, and, and around that and, and were able to get a, a win-win situation where the commission and the police service are working together. So we'll apply the same methods if we are reappointed to make sure that IPOA gets the support it requires from the NPS. And uh, going forward, we will support IPOA in terms of more resources, more capacity, but also just brokering the institutional goodwill between themselves and the police. The second question, uh, Mr. Speaker, is on um, the criminal gangs. It is true. We have had uh, a gang in Nakuru known as Confirm. Uh, and, and, and urban crime is a major, major, major issue. When I took over as the CS for Interior, uh, October 2022, there was a lot of gang violence and gang crime in Nairobi. We were, we've been able to reduce and suppress uh, the Nairobi urban criminal activity significantly. We hope that um, the Nakuru matter uh, could could also be resolved. And uh, before I was dismissed from office, I had um, had a meeting with the leaders of Nakuru County, and uh, we had agreed that uh, according to the feedback the leaders gave us, we needed to change the command because sometimes many of these uh, 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 performance issues are based on uh, the right command. So we are going to work on it to ensure that we eliminate that gang and other urban gangs in Mombasa and a few other towns that are suffering the same problem. Robert Mbui. 